Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of Middle Mondays, my favorite part of doing the YouTube videos. Thank you very much for taking some time out of your day to check the video out. And for everybody out there that follows the channel, you guys know what Middle Monday is all about. If you're new to the channel, Middle Mondays is something we do. It's sort of a departure away from our fishing videos. And we talk about, there's no telling what, it's just sort of an opinion piece I give here. And I'm sort of like a interesting uh, discussion on uh, a wide range of topics. And today's topic, what I wanna talk about is basically around the concept that it's okay to admit you're wrong. And it's actually a good thing to be able to admit that you're wrong sometimes because a lot of people have a very difficult time with that. And um, so we're gonna get into that a little bit. And um, I think that, uh, that, you know, one of the, there's lots of things in life that are difficult, but one of the most difficult things in life for some people is to basically admit when they've made a mistake, admit when they're wrong. And I think a lot of this centers around the fact that when we rally around a person or an idea or, or some type of a cause, um, to a large degree, um, that becomes part of ourself. Our identity is very closely tied into whatever we put our energy behind like that. And when you've made a mistake or you've done something wrong, that takes a lot of effort on some people's part to go against that based upon how heavily you're invested in that because it goes directly into your ego, it attacks your ego, your self-esteem and all that type of stuff. So um, what I wanna talk about in the video here is how therapeutic and how healing it is for you to admit you've made a mistake and admit you were wrong. Um, I'll start out with several examples. Let's say for example, um, you got behind a political candidate that you really liked and you were really vested in this person. Um, you, you, you know, really gravitated for whatever reason. And then as time passed, uh, this particular person showed their true colors and you realized that they were just sort of ethically and morally bankrupt, just basically a scumbag. They turn into that over a period of time. What happens to a lot of people in a situation like that is they've got a couple of different options. Um, they can either double down, like on their support of the political candidate. Um, they can realize they made a mistake and move on from that. Or they can look for uh, points of view, even if those points of view are not true, that reinforces you know their decision they've made. Or this, or you, there's a lot of other examples too. You can. Use an example, let's say you made a, an insensitive comment to somebody, or, you know, you, you know, maybe your wife got a new outfit and, you know, she wanted your opinion on it and, and you gave it an opinion that hurt her feelings. There's just a wide range of things that we do that um, uh, are mistakes. And, you know, how we handle that has a lot to do with what we are uh, experiencing internally moving forward. Because what happens when you, there's a couple of different scenarios here that goes down when you are put in a position to have to admit that you've made a mistake. Um, if you own up to the fact, say for example, you know, one of the examples I gave you, if you realize that you made a mistake, and, and guys, here's another thing about it. It's like when, when you've done something wrong or you've made a mistake or, uh, you know, something along those lines, you know, if you've done something wrong. You know, you know if a decision you made or something like that was not the right decision. And it's, it's, it's like you've got a point of which where you choose to take responsibility for that and basically own up to that mistake, apologize for it or whatever. And then you've got another option that you're gonna deny that and you're gonna get bullheaded and you're gonna double down on it. What happens with that, whether it be the wrong political candidate you voted for or an incest instance of the comments you made, what happens if you realize that um, you've made a mistake and you've made a bad choice and you double down on that knowing that it's not the right thing, but you, but your ego is so sensitive that if you go the other direction, you feel like it's gonna harm your, your ego. What happens when you um, refuse to admit or own that you've made a mistake or made a wrong decision, 
that comes with some psychological issues as a result. Because when you double down on something that you know that you probably shouldn't have done or shouldn't have said or made a mistake doing, and you you double down on that and, and you try to verify and justify that even, even though you know it's a bunch of BS, that causes a psychological prob problem within your mind. But what happens on the other hand, if, um, if you realize that you've made a mistake or a poor decision, whatever it may be, and it could be literally hundreds of different things, you know, just a wide range, and we all do it, there's not a single person out there that doesn't. If you, if you don't think you have, then you're not honest with yourself. But um, what happens is when you realize and say to yourself, it's like, you know, I screwed up here, I made a bad decision, I made a mistake in voting for this person, I made a mistake in making this comment to this person, I made a mistake in, you know, in, you know, choosing this house that I couldn't afford or whatever it is. When you own up to it that you've made a mistake, there's a lot of different things that come with that. Number one is you gain respect from other people. When somebody can admit that they've made a mistake, there's there's a there's a an energy that puts out that you put out and and that's very admirable. It's a very it's a good quality of leadership. One of the one of the best qualities of leaders, if they could is if you have a leader then it could admit they make a mistake, that gives other people a lot of confidence in that person. But if you've got somebody that makes a mistake and doubles down on that mistake, then you lose a lot of that trust and you lose a lot of that confidence as a leader. Another good advantage of it is it, it brings you a sense of humility. Every single person out there has got to work on their humility all the time. You know, some people don't even know what that word means. I mean, when you get into a lot of people that that are in positions of power, whether it be in business or politics or whatever, they don't understand what humility is. And you, humility is another leadership quality. Um, so th just the fact that when you own up to some type of a bad decision that you've made or a mistake and admit it, it has a tremendous amount of therapeutic healing effects not only on yourself, but everybody around you with that. So I've noticed this a lot too. And it's like, it's, it's sort of like human nature. It's like what I said, it's very powerful. When you, when you do something where you've made a mistake and, and, or made a bad decision or something like that, it's, it's sort of human nature to, to bull up and resist the, and admitting the fact that you've done something wrong. Like I said, because you can't discount or you can't underestimate how strong some people's egos and how some people's, how strong their, their sense of identity is to, like I said, a certain person or cause. And it's very painful for a lot of people. I mean, a lot of people would rather live in some type of a myth or an illusion than to admit that they made a mistake or they're wrong. I mean, I see that happening all the time and you see that really happen a lot in business and politics. I mean, that's two of the big things that you see out there. So um, anyway, I, I got thinking about that. You just look around at a lot of world events that are going on right now. And if everybody could just, uh, you know, take that responsibility and, uh, and go with it, I think it'd be a better place. One of the, the great examples is Dwight D. Eisenhower in World War II. I mean, he, everybody that has much of the history buff knows that um, General Eisenhower, on the eve of D-Day, June 6, 1944, he actually wrote a letter um, taking full responsibility uh, for the invasion failing in case it did fail. So he was prepared to uh, live up to that, the fact that he made a mistake because the decision was his alone. And that's true leadership qualities to do that. So I think that's very admirable that we all have that quality. So anyway, guys, if you're one of those people out there that have made a bad decision, you made a mistake, um, just drop your ego. It's not going to kill your sense of self to admit you're wrong. Um, it's fact, it's very liberating to do so. It's very healing to do so. And people will respect you for that. You know, if it's, you know, more than anything else. And the, the worst thing that you want to do guys, is if you have made some type of a poor decision in anything that you have in your life, you don't want to waste your energy trying to find uh, things or, thing, or, or, or information 
that will justify that that wrong decision because a lot of people spend a lot of time out there they'll waste a lot of time trying to justify a poor decision because it's too painful for their ego to acknowledge it whether than just say hey god i screwed up i made a bad decision here you know looking back if i had to do it again i wouldn't do it but at the time i thought it was the right decision i had the information that i had i thought that i was making a good decision here but it turned out i didn't and i'm going to learn from it because when you make a bad decision you admit it, you learn from it. That's how you you improve yourself as a person moving forward. So anyway, guys, just a few thoughts. Thanks for tuning in. Much appreciated. And we'll talk to you guys next week with another Middleman. They see it.